OK, more pool action for you right now. Let's get straight to the table to join Oliver Ortman against Dominic Clemens. Twice US Open champion at straight pool, 95 world champion, reigning European champion. I can spend the next five minutes telling you about Ortman's experience. And the other kid's been playing one week with a queue we picked up for two quid in the car boot sale. Should be over in about 12 minutes flat, five zip to the German. But as we know, this game we love is never short of drama and upsets. Yeah, but what an inspiration for the fans. Pick up a pool cue, and in a week you could be on international TV. The machine, Dursprung Werk Technik. In fact, the man who put Technik in, Dursprung Werk Technik from Germany. Uh, Kruger, the same as the gold uh, in South Africa, could be ominous. 97 and 2000 Challenger Champions champion. Look at that, Euro Tour champion in three years. He is a class act. And who can forget six months ago at the York Hall London, Jerry, sorry to remind you this, when he hoisted the Moscone Cup for good old Europe. I was going to say, I can easily forget that, Sid. However, watching this table, Oliver, if he lands on that three ball, he's going to be out. 250 tournament wins. Whoa. Great character, great captain. I'd thought before when he had captain Europe, Yes, his own game seemed to wilt. But this time, both his own player and the captain of the European team was absolutely magnificent. Six months ago. Oh, he was brilliant there. And he's just playing an easy game of nine ball now. If you're new to the game, you have to hit the low ball in play. In this case, the red three, then proceed through the balls to the nine. But at any time, you can do a plant or a cannon from the low ball to a higher ball. There's a very handy ticker on the bottom of your screen. It not only shows you the score, it also shows you which balls have disappeared from the table and which ones are remaining. And Oliver has come up very short on this position. That must have been a, simply a bad hit. As they say in bowls, short as a carrot. That is a major mistake. And you don't have to make money to let in the opponent of this. There you see it. He made the ball. He just didn't hit it hard enough. And now, if, if he chooses to bank this seven ball, he can go into the corner pocket with the seven ball and then off to mid table with the cue ball. He can also play it, of course, into the side pocket and go three rails with the cue ball, but he, he's got a safety option. It all depends on how strong he feels about just taking this kid on. Race to five in this, and uh, as Jeff pointed out with Steve Davis, you're in leagues here until uh, Tuesday when we're down to 64 and it becomes sudden death as the very experienced European champion works out the option. Lots of left-hand side, suggesting what, Jerry? Loads of left-hand side. The, uh, the bank into the corner pocket. But he's not feeling real easy on this shot, or he would have already pulled the trigger. Now he's looking like he's going to try and slice that ball? No, he's going for the safety. Okay. Pretty good safety, really, with all that distance, and the seven ball nestled on the rail. Yep. But look for this kid to take this shot on. And well, if he makes it, the crowd's going to go nuts. What he's going to do is get a feather touch on it. And if he plays it with left-hand side, that will put right on the ball, which will take it in off the north pocket. It's actually a bit harder than it looks on this table because there's no nap. But for some strange reason that nobody's ever told me about, the ball will hug. The cushion will hug the ball. So this, I'd say, is a sort of what? 60-40 against him getting it. Yeah, but you know, he has the courage of youth going for him. That's right. There's a tiny village near Penzance, and the nearest pool table is 40 miles away in Plymouth. He may have gotten quite fortunate on his position. No, the seven ball is going to roll into a shape where Oliver can just slice that ball in. 
Oh, he has Ollie. Who should whistle through this? Uh, Brown's a gimme. Has a so is the black. Has a huge area of position he can fall into anywhere around the center of the table. Would make him quite happy. Standard back and forth shot. Yeah. Back and forth shot is the lateral shot where you move it parallel to the head string as many times as you like across the table and at a pace which gives you position. Look how far back he holds that cue stick. He's just gripping it with two fingers. Not a bobble on that. Well, it may have bobbled, but it went down. And now Oliver Ortman to draw first blood <laughs> leaves Dominic Clemens, our junior qualifier, one to nothing. Little bit of bottom left, help him around. Well, if you had his stroke, you'd never be broke. Oliver Ortman, one of the best. Well, whether he's caressing him like this, or to use Jerry's favorite phrase, powder in the balls, which speaks for itself. He's a maestro, this guy. All he has to do now is line up fairly straight in on the six ball. He doesn't want to be dead straight in, of course, but fairly straight and he can fall easily on the seven ball to take it all the way down the, the table or if he wishes draw back to this side of the seven and take it in the side but with that much distance between the queue and the six I don't expect that at all just to remind you if you're new to the game you've got to go for the low ball in this case the a green six and then proceed through the balls you know Sid ideally on this shot Oliver's going to let that cue ball wind up hugging the cushion. So he has just a bit of a, an angle on that seven ball to pop out to center table for the eight. Oh, he decided to come back down and he's missed the shot and missed the position. He's he wanted to come all the way back down table toward himself, Sid, so we could play the seven in the side pocket and he just didn't get there. Well, he can't take it long top no. left because he goes in off. It does. Now he can try and hit this ball with extreme top right and drive the cue ball into the point of the of the corner pocket and let it come back out. But that's really taking a risk. No, he's he's not lining up for that. He's lining up for a safety. You know what? He could be lining up for a bank, which would be really a shot to nowhere because he's going to bring the cue ball back down table. Oh, Someone he didn't gets. want that collision. Certainly didn't. But as it is, that's about the best position he could have got in. He, so he's fluked a very difficult shot to his opponent. Yeah, very, very fortunate. And I'm not going to suggest that Dominic will play safe. <laughs> he's known <laughs> as Desperate Dominic in <laughs> the Peasants League. i tell you what, I think he'd go for anything on the table. There you go, all the drama and all the uh, magic. Harry Potter hasn't got this Miss Magic. Young lad, won a qualifying tournament for Junius de Gutierrez. And who does he come out of the hat against first? The former world Look champion! Look at shot! All righty, baby! <laughs> well, if he doesn't make a name for himself in pool, 15,000 Cornish win, we'll want to know the reason why. Boy, oh boy, nobody told this kid he didn't have a chance. Look at this. He's going to be only one game behind the great Oliver Ortman. A fine Dominic line Clemens. between aggression and brashness and madness. Right in the positive side of the line. Well, if he can make the shot, he gets natural shape. Three rails for shape if he gets the shot in. The right hand side. Oh, oh he missed the shot. The Is he going to roll safe behind the seven? Is it ever? Has he? Has he? Well, I think the Cornish Pixies is on his side today. This could so easily have been a setup for Ortman. And instead, it, the ball strikes the nose of the side pocket and rolls up neatly behind the seven. I bet Ollie is not going to send this kid any Christmas cards. 
from Schrobenhausen in Germany. Oliver knows that momentum is sitting in the other chair. He's got to change that. Fascinating duel. Exactly what he wanted to do was contact that ball very, very solid so the cue ball doesn't move. He would have liked the five ball to come off at a slightly less of an angle and come down table and hug this, hug this rail down here, but he'll take that shot. That's a long shot. There's a lot of distance between Dominic and the five ball, and he's going to be cueing not only over a rail, but also over a pocket. Very, very difficult shot. 2-2 two, two in a race of five. In Dominic's favor, all he has to do is concentrate on making the shot. He's got to punch that ball in the pocket, and the cue ball is going to give him position if he hits it hard enough. The English rookie against one of the toughest cookies in the game, Oliver Ortman. You'll see it coming right at you. Oh, he's missed Again, it. Again, he hits the nose. And he oh, didn't hit it hard enough pockets. to go into the other corner, did he? Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, oh. Pixies! Oh, ho! Oh. Dominic looks up at the skies with that shot saying, thank you very much. Whatever it is, the Cornishman giving pasty to the German. Oliver has to remain collected in his chair while this fella goes for anything on the table. Keeps going this way. Oliver probably won't dare go back to Germany. Who beat you? Kid with a two quid stick. Playing for a week. You're kidding, Ollie. Well, he's got quite a reach here, a very clumsy bridging situation. He needs to go for the rest. He's Six rails and into the middle pocket. If he slices this ball in, he'll get shape, Sid. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's missed it, but it may have but been a shot to nothing. He's left it. He has left it very safe. Oliver gets out of the chair like a 90-year-old going for his pension. I don't know about Dominic Clemens. He's pitching he's like Roger Clemens. He's looking for a kick. Look at well, this. This is very brave, not to say possibly rash. I don't like this choice. Nearly went in off. Well, now he's left Dominic and out. Uh, all Dominic really needs to do at this point is make this seven ball. He's going to get shape on the nine. Wow. So Dominic what's the shot? Slow roll with a bit of top? No, really not a slow roll. He just needs to hit it with a medium stroke. Just needs to concentrate on making the ball. Uh, the, the cue ball does have to go to the rail before it comes out into position, so he doesn't have to. He doesn't want to slow roll it. He wants to hit it with a little bit of pace, not too much, not enough to jaw the ball out of the pocket. He wants yeah. to hit it with pocket Has speed. Has to keep the ball with two feet, 18 inches away from the nine. In the hole, just like that. All righty, all righty. <laughs> this for three, two to the rookie, 19-year-old Dominic Clement. Three to two, leading Oliver Ortman, many time world champion on international television. He just meant to hit that ball, but who cares whether he meant it? <laughs> this is great pool. And the underdog is coming through. He's shining like a diamond. He's only played for one week. The story was supposed to be that the German Oliver Ortman would murder this kid. But now he leads 4 2, needs just one more rack sensation. You know, Oliver's got to feel really snake bit, so. Anything can go wrong, and if, if, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong for Oliver. 
an English comedian called Ken Dodd had a word for it. This come knockerated. And that's a shot he went oh, for, he missed the night. He missed it. Now, where's the two ball going to wind? Right in front of the side pocket for the oh. kid. Is there a, well, he's got a, he's got a pink, he's got a combination shot on the pink. I don't think he's got a hard ball now. No, it, but it's, 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 there's room on that, on that pink for the combo. Here you take another look at the shot. Oliver was so close, Sid, so close. And of course the fates said, here kid, have another shot at it. Usually slim, tall, erect. Now is the body language of a jellyfish, the German, the former world champion can just sit and watch while the inspired rookie takes out these last few balls. Well, he's got to show us something here, Sid. He's got to make a shot on this four ball after he makes the combination on the eight. And how he develops that shot is, is very big. I mean, and it requires a lot of experience to know where the, all the balls in the shot are going to go. He's got to plot the paths of three balls. The four, the eight, and the cue. This kid had odds of 160 to one when he started this match. And uh, I think those odds are going to sink because he's look at what he did here. He's developed that ball beautifully. Yeah. He's, he, he revised that just heard it was 250 to one. A new note says it was 250 to one. The kid only has to slide the cue ball down table to get shot on the five ball and it's an easy five nine combination for this kid to beat the machine. That's right. David did it with Goliath with a homemade catapult. This kid is beating the former world champion with a two quid stick. Oliver can't believe it. Oliver looks as sick as a parrot. There it is. This is all he needed. Now he just has to calm down and make this shot. He's got a lot of mates here who are going to hug him and kiss him and buy him a bite. Can you believe it? To the rookie. He's only been playing a week with an old stick. And he's beaten the former world champion, Sensation in Cardiff.